guys, it's Mark Starr from thehoppery.com. So today's beer comes to us from Eugene, Oregon. Uh, it is from a brewery that I've kind of been fascinated with for a little while. Um, it's called Ninkasi Brewing Company. And Ninkasi was the Sumerian goddess of beer. And that's really how this brewery got its name. Um, this beer is called the Otis. Um, it clocks in at 7.2% ABV. Um, and this is actually their flagship beer. Oatmeal stouts are, you know, one of my favorite styles of beer. And uh, at least in terms of stouts, um, you know, we all like imperial stouts, but I really like a good oatmeal stout because the addition of oats to the brewing process really lends a bit of, you know, softness or creaminess to a beer. Um, you do have your milk stouts that add a little bit of creaminess through the uh, lactose sugar that they use. But um, anyway, I've really been wanting to try some beers by this brewery. And uh, this is the first one that I'm going to be trying today. And uh, let's go ahead and dig in. So, you know, when you hold this thing up to the light, um, clearly it's a black beer, it's a stout. Um, but it's not engine oil black because I can see some ruby red color kind of trickling throughout the beer. Um, the head on it, you know, really nice and consistent looking head. Um, it's really got this nice warm roasted hazelnut color to it. Um, and I really like that color uh, on a stout. It lets me know that there is going to be a little bit of richness in the beer. Um, but yeah, really, you know, textbook looking beer, really nice looking head. Uh, let's smell it and uh, see what we got going on. Well, I can definitely smell those oats right away. Um, I do get a good amount of chocolate as well. I would say maybe a touch of coffee, not a whole lot. Um, this is an espresso-like, so you know, any amount of coffee that's coming out of here um, would re really just be your, you know, generic cup of black coffee. There's maybe some of those dark fruits hidden, you know, really down in there, but I think the oats are really what, you know, is kind of coming to the fore for me on the nose. You know, when I kind of tilt the glass here a little bit as well, it's not extremely viscous. Um, you know, and I wouldn't imagine an oatmeal stout to be that way. Um, so I think, you know, at least in terms of grading it from a looks perspective, I mean, this is pretty textbook to me uh, and looks really, really good. So, uh, but we've smelled it, we've looked at it. Let's go ahead and taste it. So it really does have a nice mouthfeel, um, which again, that's one of the characteristics of oatmeal stouts that I really enjoy. Um, I do get a bit of coffee bitterness, uh, which is obviously coming from those really dark roasted malts uh, matched with, you know, a little bit of hopping in there as well. I'm getting, you know, a touch of coffee on the nose. Um, like I said earlier, it's really coming through on the palate as well. Again, not espresso-like, but just very gentle, you know, kind of in that coffee component. You can really taste those malts in this one, um, which I like as well. Uh, I think it's the malts matched with the, um, the oats that really kind of makes this beer shine. It's not real flashy. Um, but, you know, I really like this beer a lot. Hmm. Yeah, I, you know, I think this is pretty textbook for an oatmeal stout. Um, I think this is one that, you know, if this were on tap at your local bar, I, I, I could really see, you know, kind of getting off work from a bad day, saddling up to the bar, asking for one of these beers, and just really enjoying a solid beer that you don't have to think too hard about, um, but just is very, very good. Mm. Man, I think the wife is really going to love this beer. She's into stouts, as I've said before, and uh, I think this one's right up her alley. So I think what I'm going to do is be the good husband 
and uh, I'm going to take some of this upstairs and I've got about a half a bottle left here and uh, I think I'm going to share some of this with her and uh, you know do my good deed for the day but uh, anyway really hope you guys enjoyed this session I do recommend finding this beer if you can um, I don't know that the distribution is too far um, maybe Oregon maybe Washington um, I think maybe you can pick this up in California as well but um, unfortunately I don't think they make it too far um, east so you're gonna have to trade for this one if you don't live on the west coast but anyway guys Glad you guys came back to watch another session, and uh, my name is Mark Starr, and we will see you guys next time. Cheers.